The tension is palpable and you can understand why. Two high-level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up. It is Juventus. They take on Inter next on EA TV. Just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. It's Juventus up against Inter. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Wojciech Stensny is the goalkeeper. Weston McKenney starts with Filip Kostic on the flanks. And up front, Federico Chiesa starts alongside Moise Keane. Inter's lineup is as follows. Jan Sommer is the goalkeeper. Francesco Acerbi plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Hendrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Marcos Turam plays alongside Lautaro Martinez. Martinez! Oh, a smart stop. Federico Chiesa. Well, good luck to any defender trying to slow down this Inter attack. They've been formidable. Well, their attacking play on the road has been second to none. It's been inventive, it's been precise, and most importantly, it's been clinical. They really do play with such confidence when they break forward, which I'm sure we'll see again today. Italian. Very quick thinking there. Well, good effective pressure. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Oh, but they've lost it now. Bremer. Now Rabio. Federico Chiesa. Chiesa. Just wanted to get it out of there. Martinez. Now with Turan. Well, then they're a bit wasteful in possession. Locatelli. Ball with Danilo. Moise Keane. And offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. And I must say, that's very good refereeing, going back to hand out the yellow card in that fashion. Mkhitaryan The referee has let the advantage accrue to Juventus Kostic Bremer Ball with Danilo Really effective shielding under pressure. They do pass the ball with authority. A chance to whip it in. He's blocked it! On a corner to Juventus, and perhaps an opportunity for the old lady to jump ahead.
And taken short. Intercepting it intelligently. Alessandro Bastoni. Federico Di Marco. Barella. And very deftly cut out. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage Juventus. Radio. Kostic has it. Bremer. And Inter might be able to cash in here. It's a perfect challenge. Barella. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Martinez. Oh, magnificent reaction. always going to be that way Federico Chiesa and there goes the halftime whistle the two teams locked together at the halfway stage interested to get your verdict as regards Inter yeah we've been lauding their attack in play but today they've just been below their normal standards they've lacked that little bit of sharpness but credit to their opponents they've defended really well all over the pitch And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Martinez. Now with Chalhanolu. Mkhitaryan. In a decent position now. Tremendous block. And in the end, no damage done. It is advantage, Juve. Radio. Bremer. Gatti. Weston McKenney. Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? I just couldn't play that decisive ball. De Frey. Good ball to switch the play. Turam. Given away by Inter. And off the crossbar! Well, he must have thought that was in. He struck it so cleanly. And he'll go back and hand out a yellow card here. Yeah, he was always going to go back for that challenge. It was a poor one, you have to say. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Great vision to switch the play. Takes the shot. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Here it is now, a substitution. Trying to pick out a teammate. And first class defending, cleared off the line. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack.
Oh, that's a fine pass. Teammates in the middle. Still work to do. Chalhanolu. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. It's going to be a free kick for Juventus. It's a substitution for Juventus. Good distribution. Really clever pressing. Arkadiusz Milik. Rabio. Locatelli. Bremer. Ball with Danilo. Determined defending. Marcus Tuham. Radio. Now Radio. Not showing good patience. And now Arkadiusz Milik. Now with Rabio. Locatelli with it. And they know they need to stop him. Rabio. Locatelli. Now with Milik. Great defending. Arkadiusz Milik. Ball with Danilo. And Juventus getting forward. A goal at this late stage, and that might be that. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Marcus Tuham. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, Juve haven't been at their best, but they might just get one more chance to draw a level here. The fans certainly think they can. Targets available, cross comes in. Well, far from the ideal header, and the goalkeeper had it all the way. Fratesi, and the defensive intervention there. Juventus battling against the clock and the scoreline. What can they pull out of the fire? Well, very effective play in possession. Juventus will have to throw it back in play. How about the cross? So the final whistle has sounded and a boost for the Nerazzurri. Three points for Inter. Your verdict? Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition and in the end they got their reward. That's a really good win for them.